Hey everybody, want to wheeze them here at 10.38 p.m. on Thursday, March 19, 2015. Toys R Us got these characters in that you saw me get on St. Patrick's Day, so good news there if you're in the hunt or in the mood for some Rocky Roll, Thunderbolt, etc. action. That said, what we're doing here, I'm going through, we're going to record the base upgrade for Rocky Roll here. Obviously, you know that based on the title. However, before we begin, I want to point out... Ordinarily, when I release the upgrades, you would have Rocky Roll Video 1 Base, Video 2 Geological Grandmaster, Video 3 Rolling Rumbler, that's basically Base, Path 1, and Path 2. I may not have that exact format this time around, I'm not 100% sure, I'd kind of like to get some of the other characters going with their base upgrades as well. So if you see the links in the video description box like you're accustomed to and you like to go check out the attack damage spreadsheets, just be forewarned what my plan is. I will take the do the base upgrades and then with depending on how I feel about them, I am going to try to pick my least favorite path. So we'll just say that maybe I think Rolling Rumbler wouldn't be as good for me as Geological Grandmaster. I'll take that one first, get it documented, then I'll go ahead and release those videos, have them live for you. Uh, the spreadsheet won't be there because I want to have it uploaded just once when it's complete. And so what I would do then is reset the character, take Geological Grandmaster, hope that I actually like it better uh, than Rolling Rumbler, and if I do, I'm done. I document it. I have the spreadsheet live at that point in time. Uh, if I hate it, I still have the spreadsheet live at that point in time, but then I'll just have to off-camera reset the character and then come in and take Rolling Rumbler. That's why I don't go through and do 18 Doom challenges and get him up to level 15 or something crazy because I don't know if I'm gonna like the paths the best or not so uh, that's kind of the format here I'll do the same thing so basically instead of seeing Rocky Roll and Thunderbolts full upgrade set you're gonna see base one of the two paths and then maybe shortcut and bat spins you know base upgrades or something so uh, just wanted to clear the air there as best I can but uh, I'm very excited about to get this guy he's one of my most anticipated characters he's hilarious uh, he's a lot of fun to play with he gets mad hops here last night I did or I guess the night before uh, when I was in game with him I did set things up where there was like a drop here and you're supposed to like push a turtle you know and then come across it like so and I had uh, who was it I think Thunderbolt who's fairly tall and then I got like a mini and then I think I did uh, Bushwhack or Lobster I can't remember he's got great idle animations by the way Rocky Roll but uh, what I did is I thought I gotta see if he can get that coin or not and he couldn't I think realistically he should be able to but I guess like the game program you know like you have to be on this pedestal to get that but uh, he's got really good hops man so I think the game like registers his jump at the top of roll if they went with Rocky I mean to give you an example right over here he could just like reach something that's on realistically I mean look you can see his little mining hat come up even with that flower <laughs> that's something that if you ever test that out uh, I do these things I don't know some of you may too that's a really high jump right there so uh, that said his primary attack is called spitball it's pretty cool it's kind of like a spit boulder uh, ironically we had a critical hit to uh, set things off that must be my earth element vibe working for me 82 to 123 on the damage front secondary attack is the boulder dash I always want to Call that something else. Charges for roughly two seconds. Uh, it's not the longest duration thing at the time. But it'll do 25 to 37. Now if you think, wait, what was that, 5? If I just run into these dummies, he does 5. Critical hit on 5 is usually 8. However, they seem to be using like a different scale in this. It is 7. Good grief. I'm going to go ahead and document that. All In the past, it was always 8. So that's interesting. Uh, I'm just going to do by base attacks on the spreadsheet. Good lord, that's a horrible angle for you. Let me get you out of there. Uh, Alright, so base attacks. Um, just rolling, I'm going to put 5 to 7. So, like I said, in the past, that was always a deal where it was like 8. 2.5 was half a 5. They round up. In this game, they tend to want to round down. It's like the decimal 5 or the .5 or the halfway just doesn't seem to matter as much so uh, this guy's just a ton of fun to play with so I'll probably be doing stuff like this all the time with him. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna come into Persephone 
ready for and another we are ready. Upgrade? So his first upgrade is his tertiary attack. Generally, I have good luck with uh, characters that begin with a tertiary attack. Press Y to form a protective boulder barrier. Then press Y again to launch the boulders out. Price is 351 with our 15 wing sapphires. I thought we had his soul gem. Hmm. Well, the good news is we don't look like too big of an idiot right now because this is just his base yeah, upgrade, luckily. Um, so we'll just roll with that. <laughs> uh, Alright, I want to check this thing out here. So we're going to press Y to have our boulder barrier. And then if we press it again, the boulders are going to just launch out. Uh, what they mean by launch, I don't know. Let's find out. So, oh wow. Will they do damage on their own? Oh, that is sweet. That is awesome. Yeah. Okay, I'm not pressing Y either. I'm just like rolling into it on my own. So I am a big fan already. Boulder Barrier. Um, three Boulder Orbs. I'm assuming they'll do the same 32 to 48 if I press Y. So that's what we're going to do now. Press Y to initiate it. There's no lag time. Oh, they all three shoot out at once. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Quigley is so much in my way. Now he just has to line it up where they'll hit a dummy. We're so close there. Press the tag to play as now note, oh, enemy. well, you can't have one. Then press the tag well, this is going to be tough to to play as your So close, it's like bowling. 82, wow. So that makes sense, I guess there's like more force coming out of him. As you can see, the downside, if there's like one or two enemies, maybe like some Cyclops guys or um, something you're going after, not like a big group of enemies, you might not always hit them. The good news is you can just roll up to them and do that, you know, which is awesome. But, oh wow, and if I press Y again, we get the third back. They stayed close together for a while, so let's break one off. And now check out when I respawn another one. They're kind of close. Let's see if we can take advantage of that. Well, they went the wrong way. <laughs> Dang it. Eventually, I know we're going to hit somebody. Oh, they rolled into him. Oh, sweet. So they do deflect here. That's how I'm actually able to get the hits to register. We got our damage numbers. I'm just kind of playing around here. So One Mississippi. Oh, double hit. That's the first. Ah, now we're like a master of boulders. Okay, so what I was trying to do before we were interrupted by having successful deployments, I was attempting to count the durations. Let me try that again. About six seconds on the roll, so 32 to 48 hit, 82 to 123 launch. Six second roll. And I think they do the 82 on the contact. Like if we don't, you know, roll into it. I think if this bounced off the wall and then hit the dummy. Can I control that that way? Let's try that. It seemed like you could. Well, that's went way too fast for me. <laughs> okay, Persephone bubbles in my way. What I'm trying to do is like roll up to that boulder and push it around. It seemed to work. Okay, that one reached really too fast. Well, dang it. Oh, we can't catch them. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to waste all your time. I don't know, some of you might enjoy that. You can play around with it if you want to. It does look like you'd be able to do that, though. Yeah, check it out. You can. So you can actually then control the boulder. Uh, that is awesome. So anyway, let's go back to Persephone. This is why I like the Ready Earth element so well, by the way. Uh, next, and uh, that's just his first base upgrade, folks. I've spent like five minutes just talking. Okay, anyway. Uh, Rock On is up next. Spitball and Boulder Barrier attacks do more damage. It's a two for one. This is fantastic. Uh, 491 is our price with the 15 wing sapphire. So, Spitball and Boulder Barrier. Let's go ahead and roll into this dummy. Still going to do the five to seven there, so uh, that's not going to matter. Quigley, you know what? You're gonna get a hit, getting hit in the back of the head with a rock, child. Oh, it changed the aesthetics of it. Kind of looks like a uh, steel soccer ball now. 
quickly the same as on phase by this, so I guess we'll take it out on the dummy. 98? Are you kidding me? The pace up here. 98 to 147. That is awesome. 98 to 147. Spitball. And then the boulders are going to do more. So we're going to spawn that. Note they changed the aesthetic of these waves as well. Same as the others. 38, 38, 38. That should be a 57. 38 to 57. Hit. And then they're doing 82 to 123. Let's see if we can get lucky. And uh, land some hits here. Press the tag button to play and your captured enemy. Then press Let's the tag button again to return to playing as your sky. Oh yeah, so they're doing 98 too. That's awesome. 98 to 147. 98 to 147. Launch. And I think it's the same six seconds. Well, we hit double that thing. Yeah, roughly six seconds. So I won't even document that. We list, you know, until I say otherwise, we'll assume it's the same. So that's awesome. Now my question: While those are going, can I use the primary attack? And the answer is yes. You gotta be kidding me. Now, how long will these actually stay with us? I guess I didn't check that. Apparently, a long time. As long as you don't run into something. This guy is a beast. Because apparently their orbit is not fond of <laughs> rapid rolling. Wait, you can jump and detonate him, or did it time out? You can jump and detonate him. Fantastic. And I assume that would count as a launch. This guy is sweet. Okay, so that does count as a launch. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, uh, very, very, very cool there. So I think we've documented everything there. Um, rock on. Da, da, da. Yeah. So, so far, fantastic. <laughs> yes, we want to upgrade. Uh, bouncy attack mode. Press Y to create boulder barriers. Then hold B to enter bouncy attack mode. 631 is our price. So, hopefully this doesn't change our dynamic with this. Let's see. Rock and roll! So there's that. Um, I was doing this before I bought the upgrade. <laughs> so. Huh. Let's see if they do extra damage or something. That would be like, they were, they were doing 98 when I was launching them with the jump button. Still doing 98! Let's... Not cool. I'm doing it right, right? It didn't say I was wired. Press Y to create boulder barriers. Oh, then hold attack too. Okay, I was thinking bouncy and jump. So let's see what that does now. That was that was my fault. <laughs> Alright. So there's that. Now we're gonna hold attack too, which is the B button. Oh wow. Should be a 165 on the critical. Press the tag button to play as your captured enemy. Then press the tag button again to return this to is play great. as your sky. <laughs> this is right up my alley, man. Doesn't seem to do much critical on this, but 110 to 165. And now I just need a time frame on it. 110 to 165. That's 55 is half of 110. Uh, let's see here. So I actually want to be really close and see if there's like an initial big hit or something. There you go. <laughs> an initial big hit. So let's see here. So it seems to get about 20 jumps. And that's actually what I'm going to put there because that's if you hold it out the longest. So I'm going to roll back to Miss Persephone. And this is just a fantastic Skylander right here. Alright, we got Mo Boulders coming up. Press Y to increase the amount of boulders in the boulder barrier from 3 to 6. Are you kidding me? 
841 is the price. Take all my money. This is going to just be fantastic. Okay, so I was thinking Geological Grandmaster is what I would prefer initially. And then this one, improve roll attacks. I'm not going to pick yet because we're going to do that later, but um, I'll research it. But so far, he's a character kind of like a stealth elf. You just do his base upgrades and you're pretty well set. So, all right, more boulders. We're going to press the Y button and we're going to increase the number of boulders to six. So we double it. Let's see what we do. Okay, and then you can still launch it with Y. I mean, look at that. You can just deal 38 to 57 six times with that. You do have to double tap Y. It's important to note that. Uh, he's unfazed by anything else going on. Uh, you can still launch it with Y. You can still launch it with the jump. 38 to 57. So, um... Two, six. And now my only question is if uh, Bouncy Attack Mode is influenced at all by this. I don't think it will be. But, uh... Press the tag button to play as your captured enemy. Yeah! Then press the tag button again to return to playing as your Skyrim. Alright, so that's about right on par there. Now I'm gonna do it with the, uh... Six boulders. Oh. So I got 26 jumps. And that is unadvertised, ladies and gentlemen. This is why we do what I do here. So 85... No, no, that was wrong. Uh, 125 to 187. <laughs> um, kid grief. Okay, so bounce attack is going to be what I type in. Bounce attack with six equals 125 to 187. 26-ish jumps. So unadvertised. Uh, basically, if you pay attention here, let me go ahead and... There's the three boulders when I hold down B now. He sucks them all in and it gets a little bigger. You can't terminate it by pressing Y. Let's see if that gives us a increase. Oh, wrong thing. Oh, you can do one, too. How's that doing a hunt? when you're ready to learn about upgrades. So that's the 110. So 110 to 165, like you'd expect. You can terminate it with the Y button. Oh, and then he just. I don't know what happened. If he spit him out or if we spawned him again. So let me try this though. This is what I wanted to show you. You saw how big he gets. Whoops. Oh, you can roll with it too. You have to check that. Okay, so you can set this up however you want to, depending on how long you hold the Y button. So there's three of them. When we eat all of those, note that it gets a little bit bigger. Now I'm going to spawn six, and look how much bigger he gets when we eat. Hence where the extra damage comes from. Now the question I've got. What happens if we do a spitball? You cannot do a spitball uh, while you're doing this. You can terminate it early. And I want to say that the six rocks come back if you do terminate early. So let's research that. There's our six. They're all in here. I'm going to terminate them. Okay, so they didn't come back. Anyway, uh, he is an absolute base upgrade beast is the best way to call this one. Uh, I am very impressed with Rocky Roll. I'm going to have to uh, sit down and kind of figure out which route I want to take him in this pass. Again, ideally, I take the path that I would like the least now, and then that way when I reset it, 
I take the path that I would like the best, I do like it the best, and I don't have to reset it again. So, that said, I will attempt to figure all that out. I'm going to go ahead and end this video, uh, get some of these editing and uploading Thunderbolt and Rocky Roll will be the first two that you see. I may, I like these two guys well enough, I may just come in and take their other paths and uh, kind of feel that out and see if I want to try and splurge and pick up the second figure. So, that said, thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you have not subscribed, make sure to do that. If you like the video, be sure to leave a like. Tell your friends about it and encourage them to do the same thing. Uh, Skylanderclub.com. You can check out the Skylander Club forum. If you like what you see there, sign up. We'd love to have you. Oneofweezum.com is my personal site. You can follow me on Twitch, where I live stream Skylanders Trap Team. You can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google Plus, whichever you prefer. Once again, thanks for watching, and for myself and Rocky Rule, we will catch you later.